Ani, uh, I'm Greville Wood. I'm a general practitioner in um, Greymouth on the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand. Um, I've been there for 17 years, having been born in Zimbabwe um, and brought up there and done my training in Cape Town uh, and worked in Durban for uh, until I was uh, 40. I've been involved with um, medical education for most of my life, and but this has been in the context of, of working as a hospital doctor and a general practitioner uh, in rural areas. I realised long ago that if we don't train locally, uh, we're not going to retain our junior doctors in, in the rural areas. I've also realised that the, the division between primary care and secondary care or hospital and community care is not really a useful uh, definition because patients move across that continuum and doctors need to be able to work both in hospitals and in the community. Our systems around the world have made the divide based on the buildings but that's not really what happens to people. People live at home, they live in their communities and spend a very small portion of their time in hospitals um, and so the bulk of care needs to happen within the community and unfortunately most of the resources are spent within the hospitals and that creates imbalances that, that don't really work uh, in practice. So we've been putting together undergraduate training programs uh, in New Zealand and as usually happens postgraduate programs develop from there and these for us have been really helpful in in not only attracting students who have done really well fortunately um, but doctors who come back and work. The international community has really adopted the work done in Australia um, 20 years ago by Roger Strasser and Paul Worley and we have found that as those principles um, of training locally um, in rural areas for prolonged periods of time, usually six months to a year or longer if possible, the rewards reaped um, in those early trials in, in Australia have shown to be uh, relevant throughout the world. And the increasing size of these conferences, uh, like Iceman, uh, and the increasing um, international representation here is proof that these principles apply. We shouldn't be surprised. We've trained in cities for decades and where are all the doctors? In the cities. But what surprised me and, and what really um, I'm taking home is the, is the wonderful heart and love and the willingness to forgive that the First Nation peoples have shown the talk we had um, on the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and the moving videos that were shown of people able to let go of half a century of hurt and pain and then learning about the grandfather sayings um, of patience and compassion and telling the truth, being honest, um, having love respect. These values that underpin the First Nation people, I think Canada has a foundation, a philosophy that they can really use to move forward with and I, I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out um, in Canada over the years to come. So I've been moved, um, I've been touched and for me it further reinforces that Healthcare takes place in a context. Healthcare takes place at the need of the people. And so much of healthcare is delivered with the interest of those who are delivering it. And I think no matter where you practice, be it in the city or in the rural areas, we need to meet the need of our people that we are caring for. And that is our challenge as doctors, as nurses, as um, physiotherapists, um, occupational therapists, speech therapists, and particularly in the mental health arena. I was particularly enthused by a program uh, up in uh, the far northwest where communities are being changed by 
dealing head-on with their opioid addictions. And if that's the calibre of programme that's being developed and that can roll out across Canada, there's real hope for the future. So thank you very much for having me. It's been a, a wonderful experience. I haven't been here for long enough, but um, I have learned the word miigwech. Um, it's been fantastic. Thank you very much. Miigwech and au revoir.